Hello everybody and welcome back. This is another part of a story from our friend Artemis of Athens. This is Lesbian Legbeard Part 5. The bitching at witching hour. Songo's here with me also. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna read this. And I, I look forward to some of your reactions as well as mine because I haven't read this yet. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> so here we go. Hi again, Moon Horse. Hello. And the Celestial Moon Herd. That would also be you, too. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I, in my humble and awkward moments of reminiscence, bring you a short but strong cringe in tow. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hang a bell on your door and clasp a respective herb of protection. And a nice strong brew. This is a doozy. Oh, here we go. Characters, myself, Artemis of Athens, the stoic but naive girlfriend... Also, the red-haired former witch, maybe clad in green and purple 1600s dress, singing a 1950s song about casting a spell on someone while I hunt down my book, maybe not. Ooh. That is a very specific thing you just said. <laughs> <laughs> LL, the baddie as hell legbeard, who is hella paranoid because of an ex. Ooh. Cassie, my younger sister, who doesn't have lines, but is in the narrative. We camped out in my living room, as was the routine when she visited, and I awoke earlier as I'm a natural morning person, rising and setting with the sun. How dare you. <laughs> Cassie is a creature of the night, by comparison. I mute my phone's notification and text a loving good morning to LL. This was in the earlier part of our relationship, before I actually went out with her. After some casual conversation at the state of my car, or broomstick, lol, at the time, she dropped this little gem, or rather, quartz crystal, torn right from some of our old messages. Odd question. Do you know anything about binding spells? A tidal wave of nostalgia and cringe washed over me like a flowing ghostly cloak of a Death Eater. Uh, I know candle magic, stone magic, spiritual reading, no binding spells, lol. I laughed at the text, but in my heart I cringed a little as I recalled the darker ages of my own goth phase where magic, darkness, and an unhealthy obsession with Harry Potter and cheesy 80s, 90s witch movies reigned supreme in my life. Are you talking about the craft? <laughs> You're talking about the craft, aren't you? <laughs> You're talking about the craft. <laughs> I take offense to that Harry Potter statement. <laughs> I know that movie. <laughs> now, I should ask you if you meant a video game or Wiccan arts, lol. I'm seriously starting to think that my ex put a curse on me. I know it sounds far-fetched, but I've been diving into how I felt... I have no soul or something, and everything adds up to her. I'll just let you all breathe with that one. That's a lot to unpack, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you better? Good. Here we go. She practiced all kinds of stuff. I know I sound crazy, but it's facts. Now, I dabbled in a lot of things. Witchcraft included, in my youth, most things involving it are not harmful, unless you took a very medieval term with all that, and the crazy shit can be found in other sources besides Wiccan, and also, in spite of what my texts read, I'm well aware that Wiccan and witchcraft are eh, not the same thing. No, they're not. But my memory was vague at the time, and I apologize for how stupid I sound here with my response to the Wiccans of Reddit. I'm trying to find out how to break her curse. My reaction, other than sacrificing my phone to the harvest mood, who am I kidding, it's not pure enough for that, was to be way more calm than I should have been to this insanity. I took it in stride, as I'm known to, and went along. Uh, <laughs> um, hang on, I'll, uh, I'll dig up some of my old witchcraft books. And it's not all that crazy. I'm not as radical about this stuff as I used to be, but I've seen too much weird stuff in my life to completely dismiss it. Not entirely wrong. I'm open to the paranormal. 
I texted while looking through my books. Uh, one of the biggest things I remember when I used to read about it was the one casting spell has to be serious about it. In other words, very, very vengeful soul. She is. She absolutely hates my existence. I wonder why that could be. <laughs> I've read stuff online, but I don't know. I've got to try something. Now feel free to make fun of me for my behavior, everyone. I went along rather than shut her down and even empathized with her madness. My infatuation had the pull of an ill-gotten Turkish delight, and before long, I was an unknowing servant of potential evil. What a learned reference. <laughs> She sounds like she was the worst kind of person. She practiced all sorts of stuff behind my back, so I'm actually clueless. But everything I've read, I'm pretty sure it has a massive binding spell. Who is this ex? A female Jimmy Angel love? <laughs> or she was likely convinced she dated the chick from the craft. I said the craft, didn't yes, I? Yes, you did. I called it. <laughs> called it. Called Whoa. it. <laughs> Okay, a hoodoo one might work because it has various versions and other magic traditions. Uh, first, a mirror, any mirror, but preferably a small one. Focus your energy onto it. Place it in a bowl of black salt for extra power. If you don't have access to black salt, just line the mirrors up in a box and place in an item that belonged to the sender. Might work. I don't have anything that was hers. I can't lie. I was having a lot of fun. I was tapping into my strange curiosity to see if she was trying it. Walking more into my element, I recited via the phone that I was quickly equipping into a faux book of shadows for my girlfriend and my amusement. Well, this rule is in candle magic as well. It can simply be a picture, a full name written on a piece of paper, Placing it in front of or between the mirrors, or simply concentrate and remember every detail about them that you can. Since you knew her intimately, this shouldn't be really hard, and then seal it. It was radio silence for a while. I honestly didn't think anything magical would happen. But delving into old hobbies is always a joy for me, and though I look at it with embarrassment sometimes, at the time I found it cute that she still believed. But now I know that I should have broke out the salt on our first date. Or a bucket of water. After hanging out with my sister for the afternoon, she texted later that evening. So, I don't have enough mirrors. Okay, another more harsh method is breaking the mirror while chanting the sender's name. Um, no. I'm too superstitious for that. Okay. Good night! That ending was about as boring, exciting as the Blair Witch Project, <laughs> but it's a fun look into the crystal ball of my memories. She never brought it up again, but I honestly forgot about it until I remembered her freakish obsession with the craft and the actress Feruza Balk. Oh, I fucking knew it. But who knows with her? But rest assured, my darling readers, the skin eventually peeled off and revealed her for the rat-faced abomination that she was. Until next time, thank you for your time as we journey down this twisted yellow brick road. Part 6 is on the way. Thanks again for the love and support, everyone. And blessed be. Oh, man, what a story this has turned out to be. <laughs> I, You know, I wasn't expecting magic. I was expecting a lot of things. Magic wasn't one of them. Uh, I was not expecting you to actually get the craft part right. <laughs> Look, I, I was a goth in the 90s, too. I mean, shut well, up. I, I was a goth, too, <laughs> but dang. <laughs> I think we moved on from that part. I still remember the movies. So. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> also, um, you know, The Crow was better movie yeah, oh, uh -huh. it is. yes it is, it is a but movie. yes that that is a that is a hell of a story i was not expecting incantations and magic spells that was mm. oh boy come on <laughs> <laughs> so wow okay I, I look forward to the next part this should be interesting and mm -hmm. just as strange as ever so some of these videos, uh, especially this one, may not have all the animations here at the end. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> nah, okay. Uh, we still have some stuff to work out. But thank you all for watching. If 
Whoa, there we go. Almost leaned back. If you would like to uh, send in your own story, you can do that by going to r slash moonhorse stories and sending it there. And if you would like to support this channel, you can do that by going to Patreon or buying something from the merch store. I have magnets now. I don't know how they work. <laughs> Dated joke. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. We love you very much. Okay, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>